Party people and magic makers, Destiny here on this Magical Monday. And I wanted to dive into something that I just recognized. Um, it's something that I was like, oh my gosh, this will really help to break down what's really going on behind the scenes of your bullshit stories. Okay, so at the age of four, I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. My entire life was built around making sure that I was healthy with this, that I was in control of it rather than it being in control of me, um, you know, taking advice from doctors, uh, people who meant well but didn't really understand, um, a whole bunch of stuff, right? One of the things that I recognize that really, really pisses me off is when people are like, well, can't you just do this or can't you just do that and it'll fix everything? Like that's really cute and really sweet and the answer is no. Um, but what really gets my goat and, and just chaps my hide, I guess you could say, is when my doctor does it. And what do I mean by that? Well, um, there have been many times where I have gone low. And for those of you that don't know, it's when your blood sugar drops to a point where you actually have the possibility of losing consciousness. Um, and what is normally said is that, oh, you took too much insulin, right? And that's exactly the conversation that I was having with my doctor. And I was like, is that true? The answer is yes. But is that the whole story? The answer to that is no. And here's why. So yes, there is a point where you're taking too much insulin, which causes the blood sugar to drop. Um, and it can drop to dangerous levels, as I mentioned. But the cause of taking too much insulin can be so various. There can be so many reasons. So here's a couple of examples. If I take insulin and then I go and I exercise, that insulin can then be determined as being too much, right? Well, it can also be determined as too much when I don't eat enough food or I overcompensate somehow. It can also be too much when my hormones are going kind of crazy and you know like they're they're not on point it can be too much when i'm having an emotional uh, a heavily emotion reaction to something um it can be too much um for for just so many reasons right but when you just say oh it's because you had too much insulin like yeah that's true but it's not the whole story right there's so much more behind that. Well, this is just like our bullshit stories. Okay. So we walk around wanting to put this label on our bullshit stories. Oh, I s suffer from perfectionism. I, um, have not good enough, uh, syndrome or imposter syndrome or, uh, whatever we want to call it. Right. That's a very broad blanket as to what is actually going on. Okay. And so, much like with the insulin and like the cause of it being too much insulin can be so many different things, the same holds through holds true for the bullshit stories that we tell. Okay, so if we think about this, perfectionism can come from so many different places. Like, yes, you have perfectionism, but is it because in your childhood you felt like you needed to have control and that was the reason you're like, okay, well, I got to be perfect about this? Or is it because you were afraid of making a mistake and that you didn't want to get something wrong, so you really, really pushed and forced and shoved yourself into making sure that you got whatever it was correct? Now, both of them can be under perfectionism, but the cause and the root of it, two completely separate things, which is also why it can look different amongst people, much like type 1 diabetes. It can look so different. It's not, it doesn't look the same in everyone. And I was like, oh my God, this, this, this makes sense. And it blows me away, right? So now what about the not good enough? Could you feel like you're not good enough because you were thrust into uh, maybe a leadership position or a role that you were not ready for as a child? And like, you, you didn't like, you're like, hello, I need help here. But there was nobody there to help you right? That's a root cause of the not good enough. Or no matter how hard you tried, you were doing your best. You just didn't measure up to either like an older sibling or a friend or a classmate or, you know, whoever your parents or whoever you grew up with is comparing you to. 
that's also a cause of the not good enough, which can then look very different between those two people, right? So although we like to blanket the statement with not enough insulin or you've got this or you've got not good enough or you've got whatever the that is, the cause is different and so it looks different. And so when you actually have to go to figure out how to, for lack of a better term, treat it, some things work and some things don't. And that's why it's so important to be able to identify the root where it comes from, how that bullshit story got created. So you can like pull that root ball apart, right? And like, here's what I learned about root balls. They're kind of cool because you can prune them back if they're too long. But also you want to make sure that you've got all the dead stuff out and, and that way whatever's left can thrive. Okay. We can actually make our bullshit stories thrive and turn into fertilizer for the thing we want next, for the thing we want more of, the thing that we have joy for. And that's where the fun is at. That's where it's like, let's go and explore and have some fun to find the way that works for you, to find the way that works and, and is not hard. It's not like, oh my God, you gotta force yourself. It's chill, okay? So what is the cause of your limiting belief, okay? Not what you think your limiting belief is, but what is the cause? Because once you know that, and you can treat the cause, you, you the symptoms, they go peace out. So isn't that like the best part ever? I thought so. Um, I'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions or if there's anything else, go ahead and comment below. And um, yeah, until next week. Oh, um, may or may not be, a video next week um, because it's the July 4th weekend. Um, but if there is, I'll see you next week. If not, the week after. Okay, peace.